good morning. It's probably clearer than you're used to. I know that's strange. You're not used to seeing me in high definition. I'm usually in glorious 360p 700 bitrate. But I, don't know, I was doing some speed tests and it looks pretty, pretty fast around here. So I thought maybe we'd try and do HD storm stream. HD um, Hey Samster. Hello Grand Monk TV. You said first, but you were actually second on my screen. Um, like I'm just gonna go grab some breakfast. We're gonna walk there through the rain of Yeah, she's still raining. Pretty good at that too. Twitch lying to us. <laughs> hey, Ben the Pilvet. How am I? I'm great. I had a lovely sleep. I'm like, all right, let's get ready for the day. I listened, and I heard the sound. Like you know, the sound of like when cars are driving through really like, because there's a r major road next to me. The sound of cars driving through like puddles of water. That's what it sounded like. I'm like, ooh. It must have rained. And I looked outside and, oh, yes, it has rained. And yes, it continues to rain. And it's very rainy. No lightning yet, but it's, it's just like. like the parking lot's like flooded. So I'll just, oh, would that say? No, it's, it's, it's still rainy. I don't know if you can really tell. Um. Maybe I'll step outside for a minute. Right. But it's going to clear for an hour and start again? Huh. This is, uh... It's not windy, it's just rain. Which is what everyone said it would be. It's a lot of rain. It's some of the heavier rain. I, like, I'm from a place where it rains a lot, and I've seen heavy rain, and this is, this is up there. How do you feel about rain when trying to hitchhike? I, I still don't know whether it helps or hinders. Like, on one hand, you'll have... Like, people might have some sympathy for you, because they're like... Oh man, this guy's out in the rain. Um, so maybe they want to pick you up more? Um, but on the other hand, you're a stranger and you're soaking wet standing on the side of the road with a hood on. Good thing you didn't camp? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to walk across, but there's an IHOP right there. I think, I think I'm gonna get IHOP. Like compared to what you get in England? I, I, I think it's hard for you to see. But it, it is quite heavy. Like yes, I've seen harder rain too. And yesterday, even driving with um, our Spanish speaking friend, we experienced heavier rain than this as we went through a thunderstorm. Um, well, all like seven thunderstorms we went through. We have to slow down significantly because like the road immediately floods and yeah it's all just crazy craziness yeah and there's an outlet mall right there as well maybe I can do some shopping but yeah, for, for me and hitchhiking um, like rain is on the annoying side of things because it gets my stuff wet um, I don't mind being in the rain too much like I have a rain jacket I've rain pants the first nine days of this trip was it was raining every day it was through Washington Oregon um, so like, I don't mind rain too much this is pretty heavy rain though also it makes it less safe um, people can't see as well out of their vehicle when they're just getting rain, just 
like a delu deluge of is that is that how you say it anyway of rain going onto their windshield and stuff it, it impedes their vision so makes it less safe as well and I try to do things safely Drift the United said he's got you when you come up through Jacksonville that's like right next to me picked a great time to travel up the east coast yeah and they're saying like through till next Thursday in places it's gonna be like flood warnings and stuff and it's Sunday <sighs> It's gonna be some slow days. It's getting even heavier now. <laughs> uh, any plans to pass the day since not hitching? Um, I'm not sure. I'll do stuff, some back end stuff on the channel, try to figure some stuff out. There's a few things I need to do. Um, I'd like to go to the coastline and watch the storm, but I, I'm like 10 kilometers from the coast. Um, and I don't have a car, and I'm guessing there's no transit from here or right next to the interstate, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast, and I'll walk with you guys out in this rain, so you get a bit more of an intimate experience. I'll put I'll put you guys in in your little protective bag, and uh, <laughs> and we'll we'll walk to IHOP. When are you going to upgrade Instagram with your ride pictures? Today. I'll try and get back up to date with everything today. Um, and I think I'll, I'll do a bunch of highlights today. And stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I, I did make a gear list thing that is down below on my channel. So you should be able to check out the different gear I have. Or some of the different gear. Um, like my sleeping bag that I brought is from Mountain Equipment Co-op and like I did an Amazon gear lift list and a Mountain Equipment Co-op isn't on Amazon. We'll be on later to see what you're doing but trying to stay dry. <laughs> I'll do my best wheels, thank you. The reports indicate rain all day until approximately 6-7 p.m. Yeah, and that's when it starts to get dark or the sun sets just after that so we won't be moving anywhere today. I just I just called the motel seat asked them if I could extend my stay an extra night and they said that was fine so I'm staying here another night is the plan morning Neon Trail thank you Hope you have a great day too uh, it's gonna be a chill day for me and I haven't taken a day off travel since I was in Longview Texas and I haven't taken a day off streaming I did stream that day but only for two hours in Longview for over two weeks now. <laughs> we do a lot of live streaming. Um, but I thought this would be cool for you guys. Like I was thinking about taking a whole day off streaming, but there's a cool storm and stuff like that. So let's 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 do that. Um, hey, Yodfire. Can we have a bag to unpack and air it up? Actually, that's a really good idea, Ork. We could do that. We should do that. Everything could use a little breather. I can do a bag unpacking. I can do a bag unpacking. That's something I can do. Um, but first I want to eat. So I'm going to get you guys all, all geared up. You're going to lose some video quality and audio quality because you're going to essentially just be in a plastic bag. Um, <laughs> sorry, I know you guys don't like that. I'm going to go to IHOP. So this is your, your little cheap home. It's just a plastic bag. And I got it because it's supposed to, it was supposed to have a, like that's it, that goes into my headphone jack and I was hoping that I could then plug in my microphone and I could still use a microphone while using the bag, but it doesn't work at all. Not at all. And yes, do laundry today is another big thing. That is correct, grandma. But I don't really have any like stain remover stuff, so we'll see. Things being absolutely necessary. Yeah. 
things I deem absolutely necessary are stuff that keeps me safe outside. So that's my stuff that is or lets makes me sure mentally that if I get caught out, if no one picks me up, I'll be safe. So that's my camping gear. that beach house thing? No, the, the guy who was asking, it was his dad's place and his dad was uh, away out of town, so that didn't work out, but that's okay. We just got a little mocap. Specifically. Usually, if I'm live streaming out in the rain, I'll uh, have my battery kind of wrapped in plastic bag as well and then the cord will just get a little bit wet but that's okay. But we're just gonna walk over the eye and then take you guys out of the bag so that should be fine. Wow this is so light with a, a big battery attached to it. I, I never have my this rig without a battery attached to it. It feels strange. I'm not used to this. I don't like change. I do like change though. Yeah, for anyone tuning in, there won't be any hitchhiking today, so if you came here for hitchhiking, I do apologize, but there won't be a hitchhiking day today. Uh, there's a subtropical storm outside, and, and it's wet, and um, that's that. <laughs> hey, Vapor. Next, you're in St. Augustine, though? Oh, yeah, someone said that you're in actually, you're in uh, Jacksonville. You're right next door to me. size Willie. Spots. I'm not sh I'm gonna go up A1A, which I think. I think it's gonna bypass. Um, it's gonna bypass. size zip so when you're wearing your boots you can still zip them on really easily makes your life a whole lot easier in a while. They were a common appearance 
during the first weekend a bit of this trip, but we're on day 48 now, so they haven't really made an appearance for a while, because it hasn't really rained significantly in a while. Barber. Oh. Cool guy. Thank you for gifting a sub to Uber thing. What was the other thing? Welcome to the Twitch hack as a cool guy. Thank you for the support. Now in this plastic bag, the phone's probably heating up quite a bit because it's kind of locked in there. It doesn't get the airflow. It doesn't get the airflow that you uh, normally get. So let's do this quickly. And then once we get to uh, IHOP, I can take you out of your plastic bag and you can breathe a little bit. You've been holding your breath for like seven minutes now or something. Good job, guys. Keep holding. Why no hitchhiking today? Because subtropical storm Andrew, or not Andrew, Alberto's here. Is this why we have potato quality? Uh, yeah, because you're in a plastic bag. Yeah. Just for the walk over to IHOP, and then you'll be out of your plastic bag into the real world. turn the lamps on. That switch powers the outlet on the wall there. But yeah, we're in 720p. Do I have, um, does it have encoding or is it 720p for everyone? Can you choose? I don't know how to check. So you're having a hard time hearing me, it's probably because you're in a plastic bag. Oh. And if you see my like my emote, what this thing's about, it's me in this jacket hitchhiking. Yeah? I'll look even better when you're not in a plastic bag. Cool guy! For gifting another sub to Devils. Devils, welcome to the Twitch Hackers. And Cool Guy, thank you for the uh, other gifted sub. So. Thank you. Alright, let's get everything I need. I'll bring my wide angle lens. I'll bring my camera. Or my uh, directional microphone. I don't think we need the fuzzy guy. It won't be windy where I'm taking you, and I can't use it when you're in the plastic bag. Bring this, but I'll have to carry it. Got my wallet. Let's turn some lights and let's go. Yeah, so, yeah. We actually do have. Let's close this so people can't see in. And decide that they're going to. Uh, oh, I need my network too. That's something I definitely need. Yeah, I did a network test around here and it seemed really good, so I figured, let's do it in HD. So we're going to back to this awesome stream. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate that cool guy. Architects? Yeah, this is this type of stuff I sold. It's my profession. Hopefully it works for the walk. I'll bring the antenna with me. I just 
won't go in my pocket. I like the 5 o'clock shadow? Yeah. I'm not hitchhiking, so I figure... Why? Why shave? I'll shave tomorrow for a travel day. As long as tomorrow is a travel day. If things are horrible, then I won't be traveling. But I think it should be fine enough tomorrow. to walk into that with me as your tour guide. Yeah. Oh. Oops. I suck. I showed my room. <laughs> I'm not supposed to show you guys. But yeah. It's raining pretty hard. Yeah. I hop's just over there. Stay one more night. Um, because I don't feel like hitchhiking in a subtropical storm. Like it's not even windy. It's uh, it's just rainy. So in theory, this wouldn't be horrible. I do have to cross this road at some point. I'm trying to point you down a little bit because otherwise you'll get a bunch of water on the lens. It was, uh, uh, the parking lot's a little bit flooded. Fast and nimble without my backpack on. It's beautiful. Pretty 
he's got a waterfall and everything. It's from waterproof, it's in a waterproof bag right now. Somebody's gonna think I'm from the weather show. <laughs> Maybe. You were just in the plastic bag. Now you're out. That's why everything's all wet.
Which one? You like the pants? They're really convenient because you can take them on and off really easily with boots on. Let's get you guys back. Hooks back up onto a battery. Then you're good. Oh, that's us. Oh, man. PG screen. Well, I'm glad you guys like the strip. That's what I'm here for. You guys are back on battery power. That's good. Alright. Now we're just waiting for our table. watches and stuff. I bet it's good value. Good value. Good deal. Whisko Mike. Mike has it. Good morning. We're getting there. It's busy. It's Sunday. On a long weekend. And there's a sub tropical store in here, so no one wants to go outside. It's an arcade a quarter mile away. That could be fun. I don't really played in an arcade since I was like pretty young. Last time I went to an arcade was in Niagara Falls, Canada, and I won a Wii when the Wii first came out, the Nintendo Wii. Uh, maybe I'll go and see if they have a stacker and see what I can win now. Alright, so I can put my directional mic on. You only have two, right? Yes. You have the actual few plugs? Yeah, they're on the bus already. Okay. Like, Busy here. I'm gonna put you on the directional microphone. Tell me if like it sounds better or worse. Usually, it, you pick up my voice better, but sometimes we'll get like weird feedback sounds. So just better or worse. I should have muted it first, but you're on a different microphone now. Arcade stream. That could be fun. Again, I haven't played video games since 2012. It's now 2018. In case you forgot, it's been a while. Scruffy, you like it? scruffy and uh, I'm gonna remain scruffy until tomorrow when I start traveling again most likely it is 2018 you vote for arcade 2014 where does 2014 come into this And, you might notice I'm wearing a different shirt. Cuts down the background noise nicely, that mic? Yeah. I like this mic. Until it starts getting feedback sound. Until it gets feedback, and then I don't like it. But right now it's good. And we're in, in 720p. I 
should go to this downtown area, St. Augustine, can walk around there for the rain to clear and stuff. So, well, it's going to rain all day, apparently until 6, 7 p.m., and then take a little bit of a break. You take the scruff. Yeah, I'm heading north from here. Uh, the problem is it's it's um, it's it's really stormy, so it's it's harder to run a stream and bring you guys around with me. Um, also, the network was really bad there last night in the downtown area, like Saint whatever Street, Saint George Street. And I'd have to either hitchhike down the state highway into town or I'd have to buy, a, like, pay for an Uber or a taxi, because I don't think they have public transit here. So it's either hang out in this area, hang out in this area, and just have a chill day, or try to go into town and do something. Also, when the directional mic's not attached, change the EQ to reduce bass. We'll probably make it sound clear. Interesting. How do I go about doing that? I don't know how to do that. It, I'm running it from a, 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 like an Android cell phone. Head south and wait for the storm to move up the east coast? Yeah. I'm, call, I'm kind of... My route goes through the storm's path. today? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I did have a, an offer from one viewer to drive me to Highway A1A just outside St. Augustine, um, but I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to go to ha Highway A1A because I'm staying here an extra night. I have a Sunshine bus. Those are public trans. I'm on the interstate right now. I, I'm, do they have transit out to the interstate? People told me all about the history. There's like it's like it's supposed to be the most haunted town too. There's lots of stuff going on. Um, there just happens to be a subtropical storm. Subtropical storm, Alberto. Welcome. So with that, it's not windy. It's just really rainy. I have an equalizer after summer. All right, I can look through the, the settings and stuff like that and see uh, if I can fiddle around with the uh, sound quality a bit. But yeah, yesterday was actually big. Fruit. We made it to the Atlantic, which means we were well, we were in the Pacific apparently 28 days ago. Um, was the last time we were like at the Pacific Ocean, um, and now we're at the Atlantic, which means we've hitchhiked across America, and you guys have come along for the journey. <laughs> so that's exciting. I'm excited. I'm happy. Sounds great to you? Yeah, the sound's good right now. He was talking about when I take it off the directional microphone and go with just the stock microphone. Uh, there's some settings I could change to make it sound a little bit better. You go north, you can go to Maryland and get that meal from that guy. And I'm going to. I'm 100% going to. Um, but the storm is tracking north. Which means if I hitchhike north, I'm going to follow it. Uh, talk about your gear for streaming a little. Uh, yeah, like I can kind of sh Well, it's best if I have a mirror and I can show you everything going on. I should stand a bit closer now because it's getting close to my Let's go back over there. Emily has my cup, so. 
Stick uh, it was pretty good. Like, I got like a peanut butter shake, and I thought it was gonna be more peanut buttery, but it was mostly just vanilla shake with bits of Reese's in there. Um, so I, I was a little bit disappointed by the shake. And the burgers were okay. I got it was like two for three, and they were smaller burgers. I'm guessing the more premium burgers would be better. Left them work. I'll, I'll try to get, get, like I have linked below my selfie stick and tripod that I use. I still have to sh link in my microphone and my wide angle lens. Yeah. Hey, Grub Truckers, thanks for the host. Welcome, Grub Trucker viewers. comes to SR 16 Collins Avenue, which is like five miles away. So I have to get five miles. It's a long walk. Oh yeah, I know Ricer Man. Interference. Um, are we getting interference? Um, I'm not sure. I'm great. Yourself? I'm doing all right. Awesome. And your server, Ashley. Ashley. All right. right with you. Perfect. Thank you. not maple syrup, so it's not good enough. system in Canada, that's correct. Also, our $100 bills smell like maple syrup.
It's very busy, yeah. That, that's correct. Have you hit Cracker Barrel? You know I haven't yet. Um, there's one actually near me, but what is it? What is Cracker Barrel? Uh, Pitch Live being Cali October, let's grab a drink at TwitchCon? Absolutely. Anyone watching right now that's going to be in TwitchCon, come say hi. I'll be hitchhiking there. Yeah, this one's clean. I haven't been wearing these ones because they're dark colored. I think I'm going to get a French toast combo, and then I still want some pancakes too. So I'm going to get a combo, so it's like French toast, eggs, bacon, hash brown, French toast, and I want like two pancakes. I didn't see on the sides what it costs to get two pancakes, but I just want like two pancakes. I just felt like French toast. Hi. You've never seen anything like that? Well, uh, yeah, it's a live stream setup. So I'm from Canada. It's called a live stream. So it's like live video feed of me and my voice and there's people watching from around the world. And then, so I hitchhiked here from Canada and that's my thing is I, I, I travel, I hitchhike and then they get to see me live and do that. Awesome. Do they find you? Sorry? Some of them find you. But yeah, they do actually. Thanks guys. Hey, I was on my bike about three years ago from Daytona out to Chicago. Oh yeah? That's a pretty long ride. I wanted to go to California, but I didn't make it yet. Yeah, awesome. Good for you. Thank you. See, this draws attention. Good for you, that is correct. Alright, let's have some coffee. Just phone, tripod, and mic, and wide angle lens, and big battery pack. When is the stream where you get on a horse to ride to the sunset? I should have done that when Cal and Kim picked me up and took me to their ranch and they were showing me like all their horses and stuff. Um, I should have rode into the sunset. Right there, make it anything else? Uh, nope. Enjoy. I haven't had hot coffee in my 
weeks and weeks and weeks. But it's stormy outside. It's nice to have a hot drink when it's stormy. Hey, game ladies. Have you been to Europe? If so, which countries? Yeah, I've hitchhiked in Europe. I've hitchhiked through Ireland, Wales, England, Scotland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, and Russia. Uh, so the European part of Russia, also the Asian part of Russia, but it kind of gets split by a mountain range. Uh, so, and after I finish this trip, I, I think I'd like to do that again, but with you guys this time. You can apply for Twitch Partner. Uh, my my application is already in there. It's just processing. Can we change the country's command to <laughs> Rap God? <laughs> Should we go to Southeast Europe, like Croatia, or like Greece? Come to Portugal, you're back. I'd love to. I missed Portugal on my trip. I missed like Spain, Portugal, Italy. Uh, I didn't really hit the southern uh, southern Europe that hard, but uh, I'd like to. Which was your favorite part of the UK to hitchhike through? I thought it was really cool going up to the Orkney and Shetland Islands. It was unique to me. It was, it was different. It was cool. Um, so I hitchhiked around the Orkney and Shetland Islands for a little bit, which was fun. I also loved the Lakes District in uh, Western England. That was beautiful. And the weather was really nice while I was there. About the Maritimes of Canada? Yeah, I've hitchhiked across Canada four times. So, I've, well, to Newfoundland twice. So, like, across to Newfoundland, bad. Across to Newfoundland, to Europe, and blah, 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 blah. And then last fall, across to Ontario. So, that fourth time isn't really full across Canada, but that's from British Columbia. So, uh, if I wasn't living in British Columbia in Canada, I would probably go out to Nova Scotia or Newfoundland. They're like my second favorite part of Canada. Oh, you live in uh, Georgia, Casper, but you're the other side. Sorry, I won't be heading it out your way. Take you to Italy? Let's go ahead. Just me. But yeah, if we get partner, then we'll have a, we can have a bunch of new emotes for all you guys. Because we've got a decent chunk of uh, subscribers, and you get a, ma a certain amount of emotes based on how many subscribers you have. Um, so. Just driving 223 people. Yeah, thank you for tuning in today. Like, if you came here for hitchhiking, um, <laughs> it's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen today. You look good in 160p, FYI. Are you saying I don't look good in 720p because you can see all the imperfections and everything like that? I look better in 160p. Uh, so people are kind to you down there? They've been kind everywhere in the country. I feel like Georgia will be no different. Um, I'm excited to go up the eastern seaboard. I think it's going to be awesome. Relic, thanks for the host. My man, Relic the Clown. Yeah, we hit six, 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 six K uh, followers yesterday, so that was exciting. Um, yeah, the channel has grown quickly. For day 48, that's substantial. It's substantial. At least it's substantial in my mind. Um, no, I haven't ordered yet. Um, 
Did you miss why he's not hitchhiking today? I'm in the middle of a subtropical storm. It's called Alberta. And it's actually not too bad right now. But, um, yeah, I'm, I don't feel like hitchhiking in a subtropical storm. Might not want to stay long in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania if you go there. Is it not nice? They trained at the airport serving school. <laughs> Yeah, that took a while to get an order in there, too. As to what you were doing, not why. I was responding to someone asked why I wasn't hitchhiking today. Uh, what am I going to be up to? Laundry and such. Uh, yeah, I have to do laundry today. It's, it's, it's important. Uh, I only have one pair of pants and they've been well used. My last laundry was in Texas, and we've been through some rough terrain since then. Your place like a fun trip as well? Yeah, uh, I had a ton of fun there. That was in 2015 when I went around, my, did my big, well, it was a whole round the world trip that included four months in Europe. Um, and I'd love to go back, and I think it'd be fun to bring you guys with me. I feel like French toast, but I also want pancakes, so I'm getting both. And I'm getting it as a breakfast combo, so it comes with eggs and bacon as well. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do as far as streaming wise today. Um, people said there's an arcade a quarter mile away. We could go check out an arcade for a little bit. I could try to win another thing from Stacker. I haven't played video games in six years, so uh, if I do that, don't make fun of me. Is Motel Laundry? I'll have to check that out. If not, I'm sure there's a laundromat around here and I can do that. I'll have to inquire. You're never gonna get food? Apparently not. Laundromat stream? Yeah, once I do laundry I'll have to be i I'll have to be in essentially my base layer. Because I only have one pair of pants and my only other like bottoms are either underwear or like I have a long pair of 260 weight merino wool base layer. <laughs> so I'd be wearing base layer. Is that TOS? Teach you guys how to use a laundry machine? I can do that. Have you stayed in, at a KOA? I don't know what a KOA is. What does that stand for? That's my way of choice. I'd like to order, please. Okay, is this campground? Oh, I don't stay at campgrounds, really. Um, it, to me, it doesn't make sense to pay for a 10 by 10 plot of grass when there's so much open land in the world being unoccupied, unused. This will be gone tomorrow. This is just me being lazy because I'm not hitchhiking and I have no one to impress except for you guys, but. Be honest, I just don't care. You guys can make fun of it if you want to. This is Scruffy Trevor. KOA stands for Camping Over America. Camping with a K. That's what we call in like British Columbia when you like fancy camp, when you have like a like a like a motorhome and you're like camping. Um, You guys to the side. Doesn't care about you. 
thought that was mud. That's how I give a, a good rustic look. I just smother mud on my face. I'll just make eye contact with her. Eye contact is, is universal. Just really intimate eye contact. Glamping? That's another word we use for it, but we... I've also heard camping with a K. K was shower and laundry facilities. How much do they cost though? I went to one campground and it was 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Give her the nod? Yeah. Just put your arm up and say I'm ready. Can you do that for any situation? Just anything where you want something, just put your arms up and be like, I'm ready. Wait, the nod's now called the relic nod? I taught him the nod. I taught him the nod. It's, you can't steal the nod from me. I taught him. It works so well. He nodded in full gear, like in his full like clown outfit, and, and people would, would like would nod back, they'd wave back, they'd taunt back. The nod works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to not get back to you. Oh, it's all good. All right. Um, can I get a French toast combo? I get this stuffed French toast with um, two Oreezy eggs and bacon. Do you like topping on that French toast? Uh, Strawberry, raspberry, blueberry. Does it come with one? Wait. I can order it like that. Okay. Uh, strawberry, strawberry, I guess. Strawberry. And can I also just get like two stacks of pancakes? Or like two pancakes? Just, um, can you guess that? Too high? Yeah. You said over-easy bacon, right? Uh, over-easy bacon, yes. Looks busy today. I'm <laughs> You're doing well, thanks. Alright, order's in. Can we talk about the last second wave trips? Is oh yeah, I, I do do that too. You give them the nod as they're approaching, and then right as they pass, give them the, the two finger wave. The, the two finger wave. The two finger wave. <laughs> when you're not driving, so you're making eye contact. Yes, I am. So the proper thing is thumb up, thumb up, thumb up, nod, wave. <laughs> Two finger waves. Two finger waves. That's how you do it. If anyone wants to know how to hitchhike, you can stand anywhere, but you, you just gotta nod. Two finger waves. Section on the you're in south now, you have to make it look like you're flicking something out. Like, like a flick. Are you creamer? I did put cream in my coffee. I take cream in my coffee, guys. Who does it better? Homeless man or a hitchhiker? It's actual half and half cream. Half and half. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. Half and half. Uh, when you get to Connecticut, you'd absolutely help me out with the ride. If you haven't already, 
can you send me a whisper and then I can add it to my my backup phone where I add all the different people that have offered me rides or places to stay. Um, where are you now? We're in St. Augustine. Have you ever dabbed? I've actually never dabbed in my life. How do you not get fat, Trevor? I guess I... No. I exert enough energy when I'm walking and traveling and stuff that I, I don't gain weight. I wonder how many thousands of times you've nodded? A lot. A lot. I adopted the nod pretty early on in my travels and I've been picked up 800 times, so uh, there's been a lot of nodding. You're eating one big breakfast? Yeah, hopefully I can get it down. If not, I guess that'll be my lunch too. You're South Florida, the rain sucks. I'm East Florida, the rain sucks here too. It's actually let up a little bit right now. When I walked over, it was raining down pretty good. How do you find about Twitch IRL? Well, I've been watching Twitch since about 2012-ish. I didn't have an account or anything like that. I just would go there and watch random people. Um, when I stopped playing video games and I went off to college, I still liked watching people play video games. Um, and when new games would come out, I'd, I'd come on, I'd watch people play. If I wanted to wind down in the evening, I found watching people play video games was, it's relaxing to me. Um, and then the past couple of years, I've seen um, the uh, just IRL's kind of become more of a thing. And during that time, I'd been hit, like on a bunch of hitchhiking trips, and I wanted to show people what it was like, and I never knew how I wanted to show people what hitchhiking was like. Uh, but I thought live stream would be a cool way to do it. Like, for me, hitchhiking's exciting, like, you, you, like I don't know what's gonna happen. When someone pulls over, who are they, where are they from, where are they going, what's the story, like all that kind of stuff. I get to experience that and you guys get to experience that live as I experience that. And I think it's a cool format to showcase this kind of uh, means of transportation. Uh, but yeah, I've been on Twitch for a while. I just, I've, I'm a 100% lurker. I don't think I never, I ever sent a message on Twitch until I made this account. Like I never commented in chat or anything like that. I'm, I was 100% lurk. Um, until I started live streaming. But yeah, no hitchhiking, I apologize. When you get home, you should do a TED talk. <laughs> How do you even do that? You just be like, I declare a TED talk. I declare. I don't think I've ever called out people lurking and not chatting because uh, that's what I did for six years. A six year look lurker. I didn't even have an account. That's how deep into the lurking realm I was. I just came here and, and browsed, watched people play. How long did it take to save up for this trip? Well, from uh, like June 2016 to June 2017, I worked at one job full time and lived in Calgary, Alberta. And I saved up a big chunk of money. I did a full trip last fall, I still had money left over, enough money to do another trip this spring. So I'm still running off of that. Okay, now don't do a ton of chat, but do a lot of lurking. Yeah, I was, I was the biggest lurker. Six years, no messages, no account even. Trevor's <laughs> like ultimate badass troll. <laughs> you lurk my stream a lot, Benny I welcome all lurkers. That's what I was. That's And honestly, if I do check out Twitch a lot, I'm not super active in chat and stuff like that. I still just prefer to watch the content. Like, it's entertainment for me. For TED Talks, you just buy a turtle and I can say revolutionary. <laughs> I discovered this revolutionary way of transporting yourself. Who knows you could get from point A to point B and spend no money? 
all you do is you stick your thumb out, nod your head a bunch, and do the two finger wave. And then all of a sudden you, you show up at your destination free of charge. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with working at all. Never did any oil field work. I sell outdoor gear and apparel. We're headed today. I'm not heading anywhere. This is a subtropical storm, Alberto here, and it's hanging out for a little while. There's no professional on this business card. One, well, if I give out enough business cards, then I'll run out of business cards. Then on the next best business cards, we can have professional hitchhiker on it. Alright? Did you start on the West Coast? Yes. I started in uh, Fort Angeles, Washington State, so right on the top part of Washington on the coast, and went down Highway 101 all along the coast to uh, Los Angeles and cut east that way. And now we're on the Atlantic Ocean. We've hitchhiked across America, everyone. Cold gal. Most other trails alert. This one's fine. Helping and interacting with the chat is nice. such a huge part. Yeah. And, and you, my interacting with the chat. Okay, yeah. Thanks for interacting. Thanks for checking it out. You're in the area. If you, I, like, I don't know what you're doing today. You said you could give me a ride to Highway A1A. I'm not sure what you're doing, but if you want to come say hi today, I'm just going to be puttering around doing some laundry and stuff like that. So, so go and come say hi. Come say hi. Cool, if Trev goes pilot's license and live that, then do bush piloting. I don't think I'd be able to live stream bush piloting because kind of by definition that's piloting in the bush, which is not the best for network. But live streaming, learning um, how to fly a plane and getting my pilot's license, I think we could do that. And we've shown kind of through my five other, or my, through my seven flights on five planes that you can run a live stream from an airplane. Um, as long as you're around civilization, kind of. But I love flying, I love aviation, so I could see myself getting my like my pilot's license at some point. Uh, I don't have any issues with law enforcement since it's technically illegal. Well, it's not technically illegal. Um, I try to stay off the major highways as much as I can and use the on-ramps where you're kind of where you're technically allowed to. Uh, it's only illegal in five states, uh, Nevada, Delaware, oh, I'm doing that. Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Delaware, New Jersey. Um, and I've been talked to by the police a few times. I've had one ride with the police as well. They drove me to the next town. Uh, overall, it hasn't been too bad. You've now surpassed Scaramanga to be the top seven all-time cheer. <laughs> You've done it. Knock a walk out. Thanks for the bits. You like watching me in a different shirt? You don't like my other shirts? Are you insulting my style? There's also there's a there's a an outlet mall right next to me. Maybe I'll do some shopping. Todd could let you rent one of his planes for cheap. Maybe. Maybe. I have to talk to him. What is your goal? To hitchhike through all 50 states right now. But the, the whole purpose of this live stream is to show people what hitchhiking is like. You have great stuff. Hey, thanks, Makawaka. Oh, it's a pleasure waking up to Twitch's fastest rising superstar. Hey, there's the view behind me. New pants? There is a Levi's outlet over there. I saw that on the map. I could get a pair of Levi's. I thought about getting cargo pants with tons of pockets. Um, no, because it doesn't fit my image. I try to look clean and presentable. Cargo pants are baggy and like baggy. What, how many other shots of Marina Wolf? Probably 
none of them. Maybe there's one outdoor store. Oh, what am I getting? I'm getting a, a stuffed French toast combo with over easy eggs, bacon, hash browns, and uh, two pancakes. How do you feel about becoming Twitch famous? I don't. Does this count as Twitch famous? When do you count as Twitch famous? Um, to me, it's crazy that there's 237 people watching me eat breakfast. <laughs> um, like I kind of like close my eyes and picture like uh, me eating breakfast in a table in front of a theater of 237 sets of eyeballs staring at me, and it's a strange thing. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah. For, for live streaming for 48 days, this channel's grown significantly, but I wouldn't call myself the fastest growing streamer. This stream has grown very quickly for 48 days, but uh, not the fastest growing streamer. Watching you wait on breakfast. Yeah, I'm not even eating breakfast, I'm just waiting on it. Wait, there's a, there's a merino wool outlet? Is there actually one? Because I might get some more light colored shirts if there's some. Because I only have two light colored shirts. Thanks. Waitress looks so like stressed out and rushed. I feel bad for her. It's a very busy day. Is merino clothing much better than cotton? It, in my opinion, it's like night and day difference. Um, albeit, when you're in hot environments, cotton can be okay. Cotton gets wet, like you'll sweat it out, and then cotton actually kind of robs you of your warmth, but right now it's really hot. Honestly, I haven't been in enough hot environments to really say. Cotton gets wet and it stays wet. Um, and it's, when it stays wet, and you stop moving, and you're in a cooler environment, it robs you of that warmth, and many people have gotten to the, into problems with uh, they'll hike all day, get the cotton shirt wet, stop for the evening, the temperature drops significantly, and then they've got cotton on, and, and they get cold, and they get hypothermia, and it becomes dangerous. Um, now, I haven't done much in hot environments, um, so I'm not sh sure really did this, but... Um, what I like about merino wool is it's naturally antimicrobial, like it's a natural fiber from sheep, and I guess they evolved to not let bacteria grow in their in their um, their, 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 their fur, their, their wool stuff. Um, and what makes you stink is the bacteria that grows in your hot spots, like in your armpits and stuff. Uh, bacteria grows and, it, and that's what makes you smell. So if the bacteria that can't grow in the material, then it doesn't smell. Uh, where cotton, poly cotton and polyester will start to smell. And uh, I don't get to do laundry all the time, so that not smelling thing is very important to me. Oh, Michael, welcome for the five more bits. But I, I, like, cotton feels nice on the skin, though. Cotton feels nice to wear. Until you sweat it out. So, all my shirts I have are Icebreaker Marina. Icebreaker Marina. Sun kills bacteria and in the sun all day. Do you, do you, do you walk around like this? Exposing your armpits to, because the spots that get smelly are your armpits and your other pits. Um, so your armpits are, are protected from that, and it, it, it they grow they faster, and yeah. <laughs> And that's super expensive. Yeah, merino wool is more expensive. Polyester works well for its intended purpose, which is wicking moisture away from your body. It keeps helps keep you cool, like when you're exerting yourself and sweating. Uh, it pulls that moisture through the fabric and out to the outside where it can evaporate or get blown off by the wind. 
Um, but polyester smells like none other. That bacteria that makes you smell loves polyester. It loves it. And like even with washing a polyester shirt, it's still hard to get that smell out. My shoes are getting pretty dried and cracked. What other pits? <laughs> Anywhere that's warm on your body. Where's your Twitch Hitch Live t-shirt and logo on the back? Um, eventually I will have branded shirts, at least for myself and then potentially merchandise for people as well. Um, I can be like a, a real professional hitchhiker with my my uh, my channel on the shirt and everything like that. Mar Marina Swell? No, Marino. M-E-R-I-N-O. You want one? Eventually we'll probably have some, some branded stuff. <laughs> merchandise, merchandise, merchandise. Heard if you put shampoo in the wash with synthetic fabric, you'll get the smell. It's very possible. Abercrombie and Hitch Merino wool shirts. Is that my, what my brand is going to be called? Uh, what do you plan on streaming once you complete your hitchhiking goal? I'll probably take a short break um, and maybe try to. Str I'll stream like the the planning process of the next trip, and then we'll go on another trip. Um, until you have to buy new shoes. Like the, the leather's getting dried and cracked, but once it fully splits, um, then I'll have to. No breaks allowed. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Never stop. Brand Trevor Wolf. Find anything in your boots. Um, I'll oil my boots when I get an opportunity. Um, like I'll, I'll clean them and uh, put leather conditioner and, and then potentially oil them a bit. But I don't bring that with me. So actually, Cal and Kim, the people in um, the family, or the, the couple that picked me up in Kansas, the ones that like took me in and like gave me a home cooked meal and everything like that, they were amazing. Um, he oiled my boots for me. <laughs> He quickly wiped them down and oiled them. Real professional hitchhiker. Don't think this would be real. At this point, I'm a professional hitchhiker. It's probably the first you've ever met. First you've ever seen. Eugen Lifto. Lifter. You Eugen Eugen Lifter. <laughs> Hosting. Uh, thank you for uh, raiding. Uh, or thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome all Eugen Lifter uh, viewers <laughs> to Hitch Live. Uh, you came here at an interesting day. Uh, not actually opposite of interesting because we're not hitchhiking. Subtropical storm Alberto is here, where I am in St. Augustine, Florida. So I'm not hitchhiking today. So if you're new to the channel, what I do here is is I hitchhike. Uh, right now, the program's called Hitchhiking America, and it's day 48. We've hitchhiked through 18 states, we've been picked up 104 times on the trip. But today we're not hitchhiking. We're just getting IHOP. We're gonna check out the town a little bit. I'm gonna do laundry, stuff like that. Um, so. <laughs> You've made your way into a hitchhiking channel where no hitchhiking is going to go on today. Where are you staying during the storm, Trevor? I got a motel. Can you go out in the middle of the storm and be like the weather channel? I got all my rain gear right here. I got rain jacket, rain pants. I can walk out there. I think it actually stopped raining for a little bit. You prefer the non-hitchhiking days to be honest? Really? I don't think I've heard anyone say that before. Is that saying is that like saying something about the content I provide on non-hitchhiking days or are you saying you don't like the hitchhiking? Is that good about the non-hitchhiking day content or is it 
bad against the hitchhiking car. Should I should I do should I do a weather report? No hitchhiking today? Yeah. Tropical storms and stuff. Where's the food? It's very busy here. It's a Sunday on a long weekend. Uh, I'm on my own today. They enjoyed the New Orleans uh, drinking stream. <laughs> that was cool. New Orleans is just a cool city in general. And I had two drinks. I had a hurricane and a, a yingling. I just love you. I love all of you too. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, it's literally just heavy rain. It's not. It's not even windy here at all. Uh, do you like hitchhiking with the uh, clowns and murderers? Um, did, did you watch the relic, the relic hitchhike? Cause yeah, I love hitchhiking with killer clowns. Um, I, I love hitchhiking with uh, killer clowns, and if they're killer clowns, then I guess they're murderers. So yes, I did. Type one of you want a weather report? Like both, but really like the sightseeing slash social eating. Yeah, I think as as we go on now that we're like, there's more people watching. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let me get you some silverware. Perfect. You did watch that stream? Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired of eating commercial food? Like, I prefer home cooked meals, but uh, I'm always hungry on these trips, so thank you very much. Um, so no. What's my order of operations? Spread the butter before the pancakes get cold. That's important. Smothered in butter, with just a, with just a little drip of uh, a couple of drips of uh, syrup. I'm gonna put syrup on. Don't worry. Just the butter is important because if you put it on right away, then it melts. It melts. So many options.
I do apologize. Um, I'm gonna miss some chat, so I'm gonna actually eat as well. You do French toast first? Yeah, I was just thinking about the pancakes. I spread the butter on the bacon. I'm thinking pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. So I went for the pancakes first, but I'm about to switch to the French toast. Ingest them in 20 liters of maple syrup per year. Yeah, I think it's more like 30, but yeah. Can't have too much uh, sweet stuff for a breakfast. Need more savory? Hash browns and eggs aren't sweet. Bacon's not sweet. Sweet and sweet. Savory. What are those stuffed with? I don't know. I thought it's stuffed with like a custard, but it's not. This one isn't, at least. It's kind of cinnamony. I'm so hungry now. This always happens. I eat and everyone's like, ooh, I'm hungry. Ooh. Drink from the syrup bottle? I could sweeten my coffee with a little syrup instead of sugar. Is this rec a restaurant recommended by Hitchlife? International House of Pancake comes highly recommended from Hitchlife. We should also have food reviews as part of the channel as well. We can have like a list of places that Trevor recommends or doesn't recommend. Honestly, I'm a hitchhiker though, I like all food. Have I ever been like, this food sucks? I think the the worst review I gave was actually yesterday at, um, at Steak and Shake. Because I, I thought the, um, the shake was underwhelming. I had higher expectations. Hair in your food? Yeah. I don't really care. Sometimes it's been mine, sometimes I can't tell, sometimes it's obviously someone else's, but that's okay, it's just a hair. Thanks. Here we go. Bad steak and shake. And the burgers were okay, but they were nothing special, I thought. I'll be, I got like the two for three ones, so it was like the bargain burgers. Have you found a bug in your food? I think so, but just like, I let it sit there for a while and like a bug crawled in and probably like suffocated itself or something like that.
Is there IHOP in Canada? Yep. Most loves of bread have bugs in them. Extra protein. It's good for you. There's nothing really wrong with eating a little bit of bugs here and there. In fact, I think I've heard that like the most efficient protein for us to grow would be like mealworms or something like that, or like some kind of um, some kind of critter um, or crickets or something. And uh, then you just like grind it up into a paste, and it's like a protein-based paste. Like a whole lot more efficient than raising cattle or chickens, you know? I've actually seen some, some stuff from like um, long distance hikers to boost their, your calorie content for the day. Just kind of bring like a stick with you and as you go if you find like little anthills just kind of like collect ants throughout the day and crush them and put them into like a baggie and like then by the end of the day you'll have like enough that's like and that, like a, a bit of extra protein, some extra calories. Have you seen the movie Snowpiercer? Yeah, a very weird movie. Very weird movie. Worth watching, but weird. Easy eggs and hash brown the best? Yeah, because then you get to do this. You get to mix it all up. The problem with me reviewing food is I like all food, so I go to like some really bad dive restaurant with like just not what most people would consider not the best food, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, food. Australia's ants that taste like limes. Average use them to flavor water. That's really cool. Now I want to try that. I hate the sound of utensils sliding on the plate. You could mute it and then just like watch me eat. <laughs> Are you gonna be coming to Kentucky? Not sure at what point, but I will be. Try and be gentle. Try not to make too much noise.
dance. No. I'm not a puppet. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me how to live my life. All those things. <laughs> This isn't a Fortnite stream. That's where you dance, right? Fortnite is a dancing stream, right? Yeah. Kind of like slip and ramen. Ramen. That's polite to do in Japan. Shows that you uh, you enjoy what you're eating. Uh, I'm still good, thank you. Fortnite, I, there's a dancing thing, like people do different dances. That's what Fortnite is, right? The seafood online at iPod is really good. I didn't know they had seafood here. News to me. What's a game? Fortnite's survival game that's weird dancing. No, I thought it was just a dancing thing. <laughs> Assuming yes, I do. Now, how long did it take you to get over it? Um, like a little bit. And it still is a bit strange in certain situations. The thing about transitioning from hitchhiking into hitchhiking and live streaming it is when you're hitchhiking, everyone stares at you anyway. Everyone stares at you. So I've had four years of experience of people staring at me strangely. This syrup on it. Don't forget the awkward moments. Which awkward moments? The, a moment is only awkward if you make it awkward. So what? Like for me, the most awkward moments is when someone's just like, "Oh, so this is awkward." Well, it wasn't, but now it is. I'm okay with like moments of silence. You don't have to fill every like every bit of dead space. Every like, you don't have to fill every sentence with, with talking. Like, silence is fine. Um, but every time like there's a, a breaking conversation, you're like, oh, that's awkward. There's a bunch of butter on this and there's syrup on it, but I only put a little bit of syrup. I don't like a lot of syrup. You're handsome. Well, thank you. People can seem to enjoy a bit of silence sometimes, it's not offered. No. Appreciate the silence. A little room to breathe.
but when you're hanging out with someone that, that doesn't like being around sounds, then they make it awkward because they're like, ooh, we stopped talking for 10 seconds. So, and then they're just trying to find things to talk about, trying, and I'm like, just relax. Let the conversation flow. Don't force it. The sound streams are the best. Yeah, I think that's how you can kind of tell if you are like truly comfortable around someone is this if you can hang out in their presence and not feel the need to be talking all the time. You, you can relax in their presence and not feel like you have to talk. What are different flavors, sir? Uh, here they've got old fashioned blueberry, uh, butter pecan, and strawberry. Do you say pecan or pecan? I said pecan. I don't know if they said correct. Do you like Florida so far? It's, well, it's rainy, but you know, prior to this today, uh, I've had a good time. Pecan? Pecan. 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 <laughs> I don't think we're, we're, no one's gonna 100% agree on how it's supposed to be said. knows what you're trying to say. Who says pecan? It sounds like pecan. <coughs> Which word is aluminum and aluminum? Aluminum. Like it's spelt differently in, in, like, in the UK. It's aluminium. Uh, it's actually spelt differently. Which is why it's said differently. Aluminum, aluminum. High school or like college? Which school? I enjoyed grade school. I was lazy. But I enjoyed it. I'm surprised. I comfortably ate all that. I could have eaten a little bit more even. I'm in St. Augustine, Eastern Florida. I'm really proud of my stomach right now. Sometimes when I'm traveling, it like my stomach shrinks and it just I need those calories, but it just will not accept them. But today it did good. It did good. I'm proud of you, stomach. <coughs> hey, Krusty. Is the eggs and bacon dish would have filled you up? Yeah. There's a fly, that's why I was looking up. Like looking at your forehead kind of thing. There's a fly on my rig. Thank you. Top copies mine, the bottom one's yours. Okay. If you think I did a good job, which 
I'm not at my top today. It's so busy. Um, <laughs> call this number like anyone can and yeah. follow the prompts, put this in, and then they'll ask for my name. Okay. I'm doing a survey. We're doing a survey contest. Okay. And I'm like time. ahead. I want to stay yeah, ahead. You want to stay ahead. If right. I get one today, I'll still stay ahead. Okay. okay. Thanks. What was your name? Trevor. Amber. Amber. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good day. You too. And she placed my card down, face down. So we're in HD right now, so you might be able to actually read my credit card numbers. I need a pen though. I don't have a pen. I usually stream in uh, 360p because then you can't read my credit card information. She took the pen. I know I can't fill out the receipt. <laughs> Sign with tongue? Yeah, just one big one. Write it with my fingernail. Oh, just write it on it with blood. When the, so I served this hitchhiker today and he signed his receipt in blood. She took it, you have nothing to do but call mine. <laughs> oh, you got a beta SL hybrid. Uh, worth the high cost. Uh, yeah, beta SL hybrid is. It's a hybrid between a three layer um, waterproof jacket and a two and a half layer. Two and a half layer is when. So, this is a three layer waterproof jacket. So, it's got this, this back face fabric there, uh, a nylon on the front, and then a Gore Tex membrane sandwich between those two. Um, a two and a half. The back coating isn't a fabric, it's like a spray on kind of, it, it's all kind of shiny. It's like a, a spray on coating. Uh, so, it's cheaper. You'll feel more clammy um, in a two and a half layer um, <coughs> shell than another one. But the thing with the, the hybrid is in the parts where you want that, that, that better face fabric, it has it. So it has it along the top of your back, along the top of your arms here, something like that. That's a three layer. I think they use, do they use Tricot or do they use, um, what's the other one called? Uh, this is Gore-Tex membrane. Right? I think they use CNIT, maybe? It's Trico or CNIT? I forget which three-layer membrane they use on the Beta SL Hybrid. Um, but in the spots where you want that three-layer, it has it. So it's, it's a good kind of combination between budget and higher performance. So mine is an Alpha FL. FL stands for Fast and Light. Um, and it's a full three-layer jacket. And for a three-layer... Gore-Tex Arcteric shell It's budget Because it's 550 Canadian uh, Which is a lot Cheaper than some of their More expensive shells Which go up to $900 uh, For just the shell But Beta SL Hybrid is, is a good Bridge between budget And high performance expensive I do need a, a pen. I'll see if I can play your game. I, I sold a lot of Arcteryx shells. <laughs> it was by the cheapest gear in just a place every year. Um, and you can do that, but like, if this lasts me four years, then I've spent the same then as buying like, for really cheap jackets, um, probably. I'll be. I got it at really cheap prices because I sold the gear, so I get discounts. So with that said, this cost me like 170 bucks or something compared to 550 retail. Uh, Orgate, you for gifting another sub to Dave. Is it? Dave, is it? Welcome to the Twitch, I guess. And Orgate, how many gifted subs is that? 
Do you have to pay for IHOP? No, they do it at your table. I just have to sign it. I've already paid for the, the main bill. I just have to enter the tip amount. But I can't do that without a pen. I need a pen. The same only good footwear? <coughs> footwear is, yeah, it's probably one of the most important things. Things that separate you from the ground. Some saying invest in things that separate you from the ground. So, so tires on your car, your bed at home, shoes. Yeah, that stuff. I still need a pen. Fingernail will work? I tried to do it. It's not showing up so much. But I knew, you know these things are, like, people will sign with their uh, fingernail tips. So if you want a tip, just call that number. I think she would prefer both. This person having 25% or more of the sale on the renewable clothing. It's so hard for me because I would get 60 plus percent off icebreaker back when I worked in the industry. Don't leave a tip, just a business card. Oh. Um, and now that I don't work in that industry, I don't get my discounts anymore. <laughs> it's so hard for me. Do you have a pen on you? I just didn't get a pen to sign the... Do you need a stop? Oh, it's right there. Thank you. That works. Perfectly. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. And then once a season, well. Once a, a retail season, so twice a year, I'd get 75% off an Arcteryx piece, which is, Arcteryx is expensive and you'll get 75% off, which uh, is a good discount. She was bad. She did, she was doing the best she could. Like, this is a swamp place. I left her a very nice day. It's a very busy day. She deserves to be compensated. She looks stressed out. She was nice. Just stressed and rushed. It look, doesn't even look like it's raining right now. Yeah. It doesn't even look like it's raining. I might be able to actually walk outside without putting you guys in a plastic bag. I'll have to check it out. I'm going to finish this coffee though first. Yeah, it's not lined up at the door. Yeah, you can take that, yeah. 10% normal, 15 to 20% is normal in North America. I'm going to tip you on this hug. <laughs> How do you keep your stuff charged? Big batteries, big mobile batteries. Uh, did you ever sell the Moose Knuckle brand of cold weather gear? If you have uh, Moose Knuckle, aren't they similar to like a, a Canada Goose? Kind of like they're the fashionable like parkas and stuff. It's a fashion brand if, if that's what I remember they are. Like the big down parkas and stuff like that. Um, I've heard they're pretty high quality for that. But it's not technical gear, it's, it's city wear. Um, but if you want to stay warm and comfortable in the city, I've heard Moose Knuckle is great. Um, like my parka, is an Arcteryx Fire BAR and it weighs next to nothing, packs down to about this small, and is the warmest jacket I've ever worn, but it also retails for $1,200 in Canada. I didn't pay that much, but I hitchhiked to the Kia in Arctic in winter, and I wanted it to be lightweight, I wanted it to be packable, and I wanted it to be warm. And it was all three of those. And if you get all three of those, you're not going to be able to get that for cheap. And Moose Snuggles also isn't cheap up Good baseline. Obviously, five dollar tip. Yeah, I left a five dollar tip. Do you have a job? I sell outdoor gear and equipment when I'm not uh, traveling. But when I'm traveling, I don't have a job. Yeah, I don't like the, the tipping culture either. But 
I, I, I tip generously because they make next to nothing. It, they make less than minimum wage because... Whatever. You should contact Arcterix for a sponsor? Maybe. Could be fun. They have marina wool uh, base layers and stuff now too. Good. Is synthetic down worth buying? Um, what that is is polyester. It's a synthetic insulator. They just call it synthetic down because it sounds fancier. Uh, like, what is it, Marmot selling? Feather, it's called Featherless Down. That's their marketing on it. It's just, it's a synthetic fill jacket. Uh, the downside of synthetic fill is it doesn't compress down as much. Also, when it, as you wear it, like, the, the fibers lose their loft and your jacket will lose its loft over time. Where down, like if you give it a good wash, it, the, the down kind of replenishes itself. There's people that have been using the same sleeping bag since like the 1980s because the down, like you wash it on occasion and it kind of just poops back up. Where polyester, you only get a few years out of it before it, it really kind of shrinks down on you. Um, so, but there's a trade-off. Synthetic fill, if it gets wet, still retains its insulating properties. Where down, if it gets wet, it kind of cotton candies on you, and just loses its loft, and that loft is what gives you that warmth. Um, so you have to keep your down dry. They do have like they are treating down now DWR durable water repellent kind of coating, which is supposed to stop the down from absorbing water. I'm not sure how well it works. Um, we were selling it, and I like we hadn't really heard that much from people how well that works. These businesses want to keep profits, keep, make customers pay for it. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. It's it's subsidizing the business pretty much. The customers pay the wage of the waitress. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, Maka Waka, <laughs> thanks for the five dollar tip. And he says, Maka Waka, Maka Waka, Maka Waka, Maka Waka, Maka Waka, Maka Waka, Maka Waka. An appropriate seven Maka Wakas. It's a good amount. Alright, let's roll it. It's still busy here, I don't want to hold up everyone. Some restaurants to tip are included. I missed it. I, I got the donation, didn't I? Or was there one before that? I got the Maka Waka one. Yeah, I just got that. I think most of the, like they'll add a tip automatically if you have a, a, a party of over X amount. And then will make you, they'll automatically add a tip. Uh, I head north right whenever you need a ride near Savannah. It's coming up. Uh, let me know. Big Geechee. Were you saying that yesterday? Because I think I have another viewer that was offering me a ride or a place to stay in, in Savannah. Um, but thank you. Can you send me a whisper to, just so I can add that to my, my secondary phone? Not you, sir? Okay. Well, thank you for the offer. If I go through there, then I, I might just hit you up. Little town outside of Savannah, if you would like. Cool. You have a couch you can stand, but no uh, bed, bro? Anything inside is nice. I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be wet for the next little while. Back to five dollars, you gave the waitress. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate that. All right, Savannah is amazing. You gotta love it. All right, I'm excited now. Be safe. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great one. 
it is busy. There's people waiting. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and decide what I wanna do, whether I wanna go to the arcade or if I wanna go back to my motel. I will have to do laundry at some point. Savannah with you, P.S. I'm gonna go back to work on Tuesday. Oh, that was you, Krusty, that's in Savannah as well? Why no hitchhiking today? He's gonna go... Uh, no hitchhiking because there's a tropical storm here. Sightseeing, I'm not sure. Where's your bag? In my motel room. Why does it say, hello, Alberto? Because subtropical storm Alberto is what's above me right now. Can I use your washer and dryer? <laughs> that I need. I, might, I, I, I should try and do that today, though. This is actually the waiting room also for a, um, a motel here. Chore stream. Here we go, we're going to do chores. Let's look at a map. No. Alberto's just saying hello in the form of dumping a bunch of rain on top of us. You sleep, I slept really well, and I did not want to get up this morning. I wanted to sleep more, and more, and more. I could have slept all day. What do you do in between if you weren't live streaming? Was it more fun with or without a camera? It's more fun with the camera. Um, you guys are always hanging out, chatting with me, giving me a hard time, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's fun. Uh, I find it fun. Um, where... Actually, let's check out the outlets. Maybe you can do some shopping. Look for new pants. Uh, shop, like, I can do laundry later, so... And I'll, I'll be out of commission. I'll be in my, my long underwear until my laundry's done. So I'll, I'll do the stuff outside before the laundry. Um, but there's an outlet mall next to here, so I might go check that out. Except like crap last night. I love the sound of storms and rain if you're inside, cozy inside in a bed under a blanket, and there's like horrible weather outside. It's like beautiful white noise, and you feel so cozy because you're inside a nice, comfortable environment. Shopping pockets. Check out the Goodwills around the country hunting for treasures. <laughs> I just can't carry much with me. I'd love to like have a bunch of knickknacks with me and stuff as they went, but I, I can't do that. Uh, KB TV, uh, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Twitch hikers, and thanks for the support. It's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's an outlet f in New Brunswick between Jacksonville. Sorry. Wait, wait, which type of outlet are we talking about? I'll see what they have here. I don't, like, the only thing I'd want is, like, a new merino wool shirt that's light colored as well, because I only have two shirts that are lightish colored, um, and it's going to be hot. It's summer, or it's coming up to summer. Uh, what else? A new phone? <laughs> Twitch hikers, you like that? You remind me of Hitchpot, but human. Hopefully we have a different outcome. I hear Hitchbot had a rough time in, where was he? Or where was it? Um, where was it? Maybe North Carolina, the aviation news in there has an actual plane from the Miracle on the Hudson with so, oh, that's cool. Well, like the cool history on the plane, but the plane is, is just a, like one of the mass-produced regional carrier planes what was it, like an A320 or something like that. What plane was that anyway? Detroit, Philly. Detroit would make sense. He died in Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Saint Augustine Outlet. Or Hitchbot. See, Hitchbot doesn't get the opportunity just to talk to his drivers and, and use, like, 
judgment. Hitchbot would just go with anyone. He's just all in. He's just like, I'll take any ride I can get. I can exercise a little bit of judgment. A little bit. Oh, well, the rain is now back out in full force. Maybe not in full force, but in force. Got to Detroit and was destroyed. Yep. Yeah. Are you guys from here? Yeah. Are you here? Just tornadoes and stuff. High chance of tornadoes. chance of tornadoes. Part of me is like, that's really cool, I've never seen a tornado. Another part of me is like, those things are dangerous. He wasn't even destroyed by one of the, he was murdered on a park bench. Well, that was rude. I'll have to rain gear up again. I was in Philly, not Detroit. A tornado. <laughs> the airport is off US Highway 1. Am I going to an airport? Should I try and hitchhike on an airplane in a tropical storm? What about one of those storm planes where they fly into the hurricanes? Huh? Yes. I have a feeling live stream wouldn't work that well. Who died? A hitchhiking robot. Uh, it's a full body angle. If you don't like seeing people's pants, then... <laughs> I don't know. I feel that's a slight insecurity. Uh, don't think they would let you on that plane? Yeah. I have a feeling that would be the, be the case. Hitch a boat to Cuba. That would be interesting. We just got picked up by a Cuban guy yesterday, and uh, it was very quiet. Because he only spoke Spanish, and I only didn't... Sp and, and I only speak English, so... Still at it. When you're being DC, I'm not sure exactly. Um, it's kind of like halfway up the eastern seaboard, just over half, something like that. Um, a week, maybe. Take a t tour to the swamps so we can see the gators. Well, it's just coming down out there. Yeah. I guess I'll put my rain pants back on. We'll go check out the outlet mall. Um, yeah. Like, I just figured, like, I can, I can lift it up. It's just, like, take up most of the frame. I'm traveling the next few days, or sightseeing alone as the rain passes. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it day by day. Yes. Rain pants. These need to be retreated. So, how waterproofing works on almost all outdoor gear is you've got a face fabric, which is usually nylon. Underneath that, you've got your waterproof breathable membrane, and underneath that, you've got, in this case, it's a two and a half layer, uh, so it's just a spray on coating on the back that protects the, the waterproof breathable membrane. Um, and what happens is the nylon is your first layer of defense. On the nylon, it's coated with DWR, which is durable water repellent coating, and that makes water bead off. That's what you want to have happen. You want the water to bead off, and then the water, like, it just beads off. Um, but if the DWR kind of wears off a little bit, then it soaks into the first layer, and the water's not actually getting through the whole thing, but then you're locked in. That water per breathable membrane is gonna stop water from getting through, but it's like, it, it locks you in. It's like a plastic bag at that point and uh, you can't breathe, and it, it's, it's very clammy underneath. <laughs> Should I chose the Hank Hill of camping gear? <laughs> so, 
my pants have wet out, which means the face fabric is soaked out, and I can feel the clamminess on the inside. I can feel that clamminess. It's not, it feels damp, um, but that's just because you're locked in and any kind of moisture just stays in there. It's a plastic bag at this point. They should stop by an outdoor store. I'm going to an outlet mall right next. If there's an outdoor store, we can kind of look at stuff. Um, if it works for a hitchhiker, that works for you. <laughs> You're expert hiking. Outdoor gear advertisement. Clammy moisture. Science. Science. Bill, 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 Bill. But. The nice thing about this is these pants are full length zips, so it's easy to get them on with uh, boots on. <laughs> My name is Trevor, and I sell waterproof gear and waterproof accessories. Exactly. And wool shirts, that's true. But as hiking says, no rain gear is totally waterproof. That's true. Well, like, it really depends. Like, yes, you can't jump into a, like a, a lake with it, but, like, if I zip this up, you're pretty good. And that, that, that membrane there, what do they rate it to? I don't know, like 15,000 millimeter or something. There, there's an actual way they test to make sure it's waterproof enough. But yeah, if, if this wets out, which it actually needs to be retreated, so my shoulders especially, will wet out, which means the face fabric like gets wet. But you're still not getting wet through that. But you'll feel like you are, because your body creates moisture and that just locks you in. So you feel like you're getting wet. So you're watching a tornado today or what? Well, someone was saying that there's high risk for tornadoes coming. You guys are gonna have to go back in your plastic bag, though. See if I so you put them on, and then you uh, zip them down. If you didn't have the zips, then it's really hard to get your um, your pants on with your shoes on. But this makes it easy if it wouldn't catch. So I'm going to put you guys back in this because we're about to walk out there and yeah, it's definitely raining. Um, but I'm not sure how much outside, actually I might walk out there first and see if, if it's just a short walk to the outlet mall then I might just cover you because it's annoying to kind of get you guys in here. Uh, I'll we'll do a gear pack unpacking stream show off but it has and tear it all out. Yeah, we'll go shopping then I think yeah maybe I'd do that. It's not very windy, it's just rainy. Um, the storm, yeah, it, the, the danger isn't coming from wind or anything like that, like you'd think in a traditional hurricane. It's just volume of water. The place is supposed to get 6 to 12 inches, whatever that equals in centimeters. Uh, that's just what the news is saying, like 6 to 12 inches. Why are some states illegal? I don't know. You'll have to ask the lawmakers. My best guess is they think hitchhiking is dangerous, and uh, in their mind they're looking up for public safety. This in the bag? Well, I'm gonna see if I need to put you in the bag. If it's just a like a, a 10 meter walk across to another covered area, then I don't need to. Uh, I'll just cover you. If it's further than that, then uh, then I'll put you in a bag. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's not that windy. It's just like a gentle breeze.
Bear Grylls with and hitchhike today. <laughs> I know you guys would love that. Um, well, yeah, let's right there. But I think I have to protect you guys. If I don't protect you guys, no one will. But yeah, lots of rain. Up Hurricane Alberta. I, I understand what Hurricane Alberto is. I'm looking at it. It's not a hurricane. It's a subtropical storm. Yeah, we're putting you guys in a bag. What's optimal for sleeping in this, these conditions? You're going to get wet. Space... Spacescape, thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the Twitch Hikers and thank you for the support, thank you. Alright, so you're going in your bag. I'm switching off to uh, the stock. You live in Jacksonville. Well, you're really close to me. Thank you, friend. I'm telling you, 326 lovely people inside the bag. Welcome to the bag, every hey. Dang it, that thing's blocking my... I don't like my bag. It's not a very good bag. Yeah. Sushi, sushi joints down south, I love sushi. Mm. You like how my ears look? Oh, thank you. Three hundred twenty two people according my thing in a bag. Welcome to the bag. Well I'm staying here again. I I've I've already booked my motel for another night. I can't let my battery get wet either, so I gotta take that off. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Bag live, that is correct. Welcome to Bag Live. Again? Yeah, I went to Waffle House and they wouldn't let me film. How rude. But they did comp my meal. But I still, I tipped the waitress about as much as the meal would have been, because she was really friendly. It was a manager I didn't let me film. Put on. How to get the hood on of your... Jackets done up all the way. There you go. Hold on. Rip up. Ready? Are you ready to go into Alberto? Welcome to Subtropical Storm Alberto, everyone. Can't hear me because of the rain? Yeah. Alright, go. Rain, rain, rain. Rain, rain. Hopefully you don't get too many drops in front of your, like, on the bag in front of you, because then you won't be able to really see, but... Okay. I'm pointing you down a little bit, because it'll keep the 
rain directly off of your face. At least they have sidewalks here. Well done, Florida. I'm proud of you. but they don't get... I just said how you had sidewalks and now there's no sidewalks. What the hell? Uh -huh. <laughs> just the pinch of rain. Premium outlets. The most premium of outlets. Let's see. St. Augustine because of this storm. Yeah, but it is still very warm. I would be sweating so much if I had to walk through this. Yeah, I have a feeling most people would see some hitchhiker in the rain with a hood on like this and they'd be like, I don't want that in my car. Is this a crosswalk? I don't even know. Let's just go. in my boat out. Yeah, you like that Katy Perry? Well, there's more outlets across the interstate. Are you cosplaying as a red duck? <laughs> you live near there? You never go to the, you just never go to the outlet mall. Yeah. I usually don't go to the malls and stuff like that either. I'm just like, when in Rome. I'm seeing if there's an outdoor store. We can go outdoor store shopping.
for them to have the coach stuff. That's not my, that's not my place. I think they kicked me out too. Collectible. <laughs> I'm the only one with rain gear. No one else wears rain gear here, apparently. They might have an umbrella, but they don't wear appropriate rain clothing. Coach Five, should I just get Coach Everything and hitchhike in it? I do want to do a, like a like a suit stream where I hitchhike in like a three-piece suit and a briefcase. I think that would be fun. A morning wear for L.A. Moro to get some plates for the trip. Then in their clown outfit. Yeah, we could compare uh, wait times between suit and clown. Sort of done fun and out there's the approach and flip out. Well, come on Florida. Where's something out of the approach and flip box? So we're not having my wide angle lens on. I have to hold you guys so far away to give you any kind of perspective. I like my wide angle lens, even though it does kind of cut off the corners of my screen. Everyone's mugging the camera, they always do that. I know, I'm not close to the beach right now. I'm like 10 on this way. Oh, I see a Gander Mountain. Gander Mountain, that's the place. That's across the highway, I think. given to me for free by a hotel I stayed at in Vietnam. That's the flip flop that I used. That was a Merrill store. Oh, is it just flip flop? Merrill also makes clothing now. Oh, there's a tiny clothing. I'm not interested in Merrill clothing. That's the first outdoor place I've seen. You want food stream? I literally just ate at IHOP. Just did it. I can't plastic bag you guys forever because I'm not hooked up to my power and you will, you'll all die soon enough. I don't really need to wear my hoodie. Jacksonville, just south of Jacksonville, St. Augustine. I like it there, Liz. It's not much to do. How's the day going? Good. I woke up in the bed, then got IHOP, and now I'm shopping. I don't really know what I'm shopping for, but I'm shopping. This is that little guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
probably because you're in a plastic bag. No, I specifically wear a light pair of pants, so I'm always wearing something light colored, so I'm not wearing dark colors. That should be better. Okay. Bit better perspective. Bit better to easier to, to hear, hopefully. Where's the backpack in my motel? because it's raining. So windy, it's not For it being a, a subtropical storm, they're calling it, it's not very windy. Like, there's a breeze. It's like, slightly breezy. holiday. There's nothing wrong with hitchhiking on a holiday. Um, I'll be, it'll be a lot of families and families on vacation aren't really going to pick you up. But I think it's supposed to be not quite as bad tomorrow so I'll, I'll try and hitchhike tomorrow. No, I think pe people on holiday don't really pick you up. It's like people that are commuting, people that are doing long drives by themselves that are bored, they'll pick you up. People on actual holidays don't really pick you up. That's probably why I've only been picked up by one RV in my life. So that's their holiday, and they don't pick you up. And I only got that because I talked to the driver. I wasn't hitchhiking. Like, traditionally, I was just talking to people. And 10 minutes from your sister's place, Clutch. Nike factory outlet. Nike doesn't really interest me. Like the only place that I'm like maybe I'd go into is Merrill, and even then I don't. Merrill's like eh. camping world across the way, but it's across the interstate. I'd, I'd want to go to camping world, but it's across the interstate. 
can I walk underneath the interstate? Do they have like a path? Chat broken. Chats aren't showing up on my phone anymore. Huh? Adidas again. No, they, they have a street that goes under it. Okay. I might have to do that. Alright, there we go. It's a strange there's no one talking for a while. Not that you guys have to be talking, it's usually when there's 300 people watching, there's like Always some idle chat. I guess there's just not too much going on. You get a wet ass today if you hitchhike. Only a wet ass? Everything else is fine? I didn't let you all chat at all earlier. Interesting. And yeah, again, most silence are okay every now and then. I agree. But some my chat on this thing breaks all the time. So I don't know if it's people just not chatting, which is fine, or if my chat's broken, there's people asking me questions, but I can't actually answer that because my chat's broken. Let's see how it tells me to walk across here, or drive across. On here it says I have to go all the way over to the, uh, to the interstate junction, which is way down there, and go underneath and then over. Think Twitch broke for a minute? Oh, okay. You hear too much wind? Oh, I, yeah, I didn't bring the dead cat with me, because I didn't think I'd be using this microphone outside. So, sorry guys, you might be getting a little bit of wind. Oh, well, let's walk back that way. Yeah, I'm near Nike. Oh, and there we go. Now my chat closed on here, which means I'll have to reset the stream in order to be able to uh, see your guys' chat, which is really annoying. Thanks, Twitch or Streamlabs. I gotta blame someone. I can't blame myself, right? So I'm going to restart my stream because my chat's broken on here and it will not work until I restart it, as I know from past experience. Um, so I'm going to just restart it. I'll be back in two seconds. 